Thanks, dude. All right, Taku. Which ones of these fish would you pick? One is fatter and one is skinnier. If you were at a supermarket, which oh one would God. you pick? Well, of course you go for the fat one. <laughs> for the eating quality? Yeah, or? definitely. The fattier, it's just gonna have a lot more fat, like especially in the belly or just all throughout the fish anyways. Even the back is like, looks fat. It's like bulging out. And as far <laughs> as meat quality, you can't really tell from anything just by looking. You have to cut I mean, it open, huh? Yeah, you gotta cut it open or if you can see the belly. Or if you can see the gills, you know, if they if you're at the store, they'll have the gills still. But you know, Nick, good on you for taking the gills out and taking the guts out too. Okay, and like just for an example, if mm -hmm. these guys went to the store and they're yeah. picking out fish, yeah. what do you look for in a fresh fish? So that So there's uh several things that you can look uh, you can look at. First, you can look at the eyes, right? You can see the clarity of the eyes and it just has that kind of nice fresh sheen on him on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one you you bonked it right there, yep. so you can't really tell with this guy. But there's other ways to tell uh, if it's fresh. Uh, one way, another way, is if you can touch the fish, it kind of has this bounce to it. It bounces back. The flesh bounces back right when you let go, right? It doesn't stay indented at all. So even if I press hard, it's gonna bounce back. That's a sign of freshness as well. Cool. Yeah. And uh, another thing you can check if it, if the gills were there, um, you can check, you can see that if the gills are red or if it, they're kind of brown or slightly red, you want them closest to red as possible, um, the gills. So that's another thing. And you can also check uh, one more thing. You can look at the tail. And this, this is a sign as well. If you if it's um, the tail's drying out, then that's not, that's not, not a good sign either. You want to make sure the tail is uh, still because you know, the nice tail dries out yeah. easier. Yeah. Or yeah, it dries out easier. And once they're because um, they have this natural slime, right? If they lose that slime, and that'll it'll kind of um, dry out real quick. This part will dry out really quick, and it's, it should also be kind of slimy too. That's how a fish is supposed to be. If yep. it's like dry to the touch, then it's not a, it's not fresh. Exactly, guys. You wouldn't think that slimy is a sign of freshness, but fish are slimy. Yeah. They're supposed to be slimy. Fish are slimy. And just one thing I would add is also the smell. It shouldn't smell mm -hmm. like fish at all. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so if Taku was going to pick these two, the one on the right obviously has a lot more fat content to it. Yeah. So that's the one he would pick at the store. Yeah, definitely. But... These are both great quality. Oh yeah. It's hard, hard to pick between the two. Yeah. Okay, so Taku is gonna help us out here since it's right. such a valuable fish. I don't wanna waste any of the meat. So Taku's gonna um, help me fillet one and then I'm gonna give him a piece of it, so. All right, first I'm gonna take the head off. I'm gonna go behind the fin. Wow, look at how fat this thing is, guys. I hope Taku gets one like this this year. Yeah, that's a nice one, dude. Sorry about the train. <laughs> Jeez. I just watched Taku's halibut video. If you guys <laughs> want to know how to flay a halibut, check out his most recent video. Yeah, pretty, um, this one is... Pretty fatty, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fatty for sure. Look at that, look at those lines. That's actually the most fatty one I've ever seen. <laughs> it's super fatty. And then I start on this side. Um, not quite as red as the ones we were catching a little bit ago, guys. Yeah. A little more orange. Yeah, a little more, um, a little more orange. Yeah, and definitely not, not that red that we saw early season. Yeah, which was really cool. Yeah. So typically, guys, these wild fish don't have this fat content. You normally see this fat content on a farmed fish where they don't exercise as much and they get fed really high calorie food. And it, do, it does kind of look like a farmed fish, huh? Like, just like the meat color and the, the fat content of it. <laughs> yeah, Taku's, it um, like it. he's flayed a lot of salmon, so he kind of, he can tell as he's cutting this. Oh, 
Oh man, guys, awesome. Sick. I'll do this side as well, yeah? Cool, thanks. Oh yeah. Guys. And it's totally fine if he leaves a lot of meat on this spine. That's one of my favorite parts of the fish. I break it up and then I barbecue it. It's a wide fish. Taku's making sure to grab all the meat so that he doesn't double cut it. Right now he's cutting the spine. It's crazy when you bend the filet like this, you can see the fat content in the belly here. <laughs> yeah. Makes a little hole so he can put his finger in there. Cuts off the filet. And that's it, boys. Beautiful. Boom. Beautiful. What a fish, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the best part right there. You know, fat wow, 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 wow. Even up here where it's not normally very fatty. Yeah, you can still see you, that, that, yeah, that it's fatty. Right oh, here. This is nice. This is a oh, nice cut right here. That's probably what Taku's is going to take right yeah. there. Oh. I always love, do you want me to portion everything? Uh, yes, please. All right. I'm gonna vacuum belly. seal it. Oh yes. Just the belly? Jeez, dude, look at that. It's like white. Yeah. You want me to portion it like um like sushi style or you want me to portion it like more like steaks or like American style? Uh, where you just go like that. Rather than at an angle? No, sushi is like you cut it in half and then I portion like three pieces. So they're kinda long. Like one. Okay, can we do sushi? Three. Man. What a treat having him here. He's gonna do one side sushi style yeah. and one side American style. Yeah. I've never seen this before, guys. So, yeah, typically when I do it for sushi, I um, I section it into thirds. Okay. The salmon, you got about that one, two, and then three. Great. So that's what I'll do here. Just remember you got the pin bones still, but. Okay. And then I'll turn it. And then that midline, I just leave that on the belly side. There you go. So now you got, these are the portions. So if, if I was making sushi with them, this is what I would do. Crazy. You can tell you could do the same too. Six portions like that and then when you want to make sushi all you do is take the skin off and then you start slicing away slice here or slice here however you like to do it and then you have nice perfect pieces for sashimi or you can use it for nigiri as well all right guys Taku just did the Japanese style for one half of this fish. The next half he's doing American style. He's just gonna run through this really quickly. Not much talking in this one. So he's got the belly skeleton. There's a big one. Was this your uh, PB right here? Uh, 
I think the one that I caught with you is my PB. Oh yeah, that was that big was big. Too. Yeah. This is about how long yours was, huh? Thirty. I didn't even measure it. Yeah. This one's short, but it's fat. Yeah. So how do you like them? Like just like this? Perfect. Inch and a half. Perfect. So? Well, I would say if you're grilling it or anything like that, then I would do it more like this. Okay. This one is super, it's big. So it looks like they're just huge, you know, chunks of it. I usually go more like, like uh, four inches. Yeah. But if you do four inches with these, that's two of them combined. True. That's a fat piece. So just doing these. And that one, this one's probably good as cool. is. There you go. All right, guys. So that's it. How to fillet a salmon. One side American, one side Japanese. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. See ya. Hey, and don't bring me your fish I'm trying to make me fillet your fish. It's only for Nick. It's special. Thanks, Taku. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. See ya. So, guys, this is the skinnier one of the fish. So just checking real quick the quality to see if it was to see if it was any different than the other fish. And the big reveal. What do you think, Taku? Do you think it's, it's a little more? Um, yeah, it's a little more redder. Not as just, fatty. Just barely. Yeah, not as. Yeah, def still fatty. Still fatty salmon but not as fatty. Hmm. He got the more expensive fish. He's <laughs> gonna be making more money in his restaurant tonight. <laughs> He's gonna be able to charge more money.